Good afternoon. As the Talent Digital Summit nears its conclusion, what are some of the main takeaways uh, that you can take away from the Talent Digital Summit? Well, there's a lot of goodwill uh, in making the decisions that need to be made so that we can absolutely maximize the benefits of the digital transformation, but we're also better managing some of the associated risks, uh, challenges and disruptions. Because of course, uh, you know, during the pandemic, uh, the digital transformation has even further accelerated. Many of the benefits are very obvious in terms of you know, improved healthcare, in terms of improved uh, business opportunities, participating uh, from education uh, across many, many issues. But of course, there's also risks from uh, cybersecurity to uh, privacy to competition issues, tax policy implications, indeed, making sure that uh, people can have access to the infrastructure, the economic, the digital economic infrastructure, but also have the education and the skills to ensure that all have the right opportunity to participate and benefit uh, in this digital transformation. Now, one of the main topics of the Talent Digital Summit has have been public-private partnerships as a way to facilitate infrastructure investment across borders. So, what are some of the best ways to promote such public-private partnerships considering the differing priorities of the public and private spheres? Well, what we need to do is to ensure that uh, you know, private investors can have confidence in the quality uh, of uh, relevant infrastructure projects. I mean, there's a significant infrastructure investment gap. There's a significant need for additional infrastructure investment, which cannot be catered for uh, only by the public sector. But private sector investors uh, need to be able to have confidence that the certain projects uh, comply with certain quality criteria, in environmental standards, uh, and indeed sustainability and digital standards. And uh, across all of these areas, uh, with the Blue Dot Network, we are hoping uh, to provide a certification process that can give investors the confidence to invest in the infrastructure that we need for the future. Could you elaborate just a little bit more about the role of the OECD in these and going processes and encouraging public private? Yeah. Uh, the OECD is an organization that brings together 38 uh, like-minded market-based democracies from around the world. Uh, you know, countries that do share a commitment to democracy, to human rights, the rule of law, market-based economic principles, and indeed a rules-based international order. Uh, and you know, right now, as the digital transformation of our economies continues to accelerate, there are many issues on which like-minded market-based democracies need to work together uh, to ensure that people in our respective countries can really participate to the fullest in, in, all, of those, in all of those opportunities, but also can feel safe and be safe uh, in the digital environment. And the OECD really is a platform to facilitate cooperation, to facilitate learning from each other's successes and failures, to set standards. Because in the end, in order to be able to have con uh, connectivity with trust, uh, we need to ensure uh, that uh, our regulatory frameworks uh, and the digital transformation uh, is human-centric, values-based, democratic values-based, uh, and that there is a set of rules that uh, you know, can uh, ensure that businesses, households, families, individuals can fully participate uh, in an environment that is as safe as, we, as, as, as is appropriate. Thank you very much.